friends welcome good morning so it's early in the morning for me but you it won't be early in the morning when you see this because of course i'll put it up in the afternoon but when i went back to work i don't know if i told you guys but i went to night shift so it's like two o'clock in the morning for me right now so yeah my sleep is a little crazy and so I'm going to make a Valentine's Day badge reel. So I need one. Valentine's Day is coming up. So I want to change out my badge reel. Now, what I, what I like to do. So some people are great at like just making their own images and stuff. I, I am not. Like I get my images places. I buy them on Etsy. I get them from Pinterest. I get a lot of my images from Pinterest and then I will just bring them over into Cricut and so I do it a couple different ways so so sometimes I use this clear sticker paper and I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> look how big I printed them first so but I think I'm actually gonna make a sticker out of this one because how cute is that right um so the other thing I forgot to do, hold on, I'm dropping stuff. Let me, I know I'm getting a little off topic, but let me show you this real quick before I forget. Also, when I printed this, I forgot to take off the bleed. So you see this, this is like the same one that we're going to be using today. And this is, if you keep the bleed on, it's made so that it will it will when you cut it it will um have color on all the spaces so it bleeds over well and then look at this one taking off the bleed so here this is what bleed on and so when i'm doing the sticker paper this clear sticker paper like this because sometimes like these little words I'll just do it on clear sticker paper because that's really a lot to try and get the Cricut to cut out right so this is what it looks like if you take the bleed off so if you're doing print and cut and you don't want to actually go in and cut like all those little words like that Make sure you take the bleed off, okay? And then so you see this one that's bleed on, and then that is it, bleed off, and the proper size. So anyways, a lot of times, like I'll print it, I'll use my, my print and cut to set everything up, bring it from Cricut, and to print it, because for me that's just easier, right? But I don't always actually cut it through the print then cut because like I don't want all these little letters cut like that's a lot to you know worry about and it's on clear so you're not going to see anything through it and I will just instead of putting it on the thing I'll just cut it because sometimes I want to cut it out in a certain you know different way or whatever so basically I get them from you know Cricut I measure it out um depending on what I'm using. So a lot of times though, like, because I don't want to waste paper, honestly, I probably should have put a few more on here. I don't like wasting paper. So I'll print a bunch of ones that I know that I'm going to make. And sometimes I'll generally do them right at about 2.8. I mean, 1.8, excuse me. That's where I messed up. I put them at three. I was thinking 2.8. Ah, I just put them at three. No, 1.8. And so, but 1.8, because with this, it's like 1.75. This, it, or 1.7. This one's like a little bit less than that. So depending on what I'm using, and I'll show you what those are. Because, you know, I can always, like, I like it to go a little bit past when I can so that it lays nice because I'll just take my sandpaper and sand off the edge of the sticker paper before I go any further. Works really well. So I just will make a bunch because these are all ones that I need to make for either myself or for people who wanted them. So I just, 
you know, print them all so they don't waste. But again, I should have did more. So this is, now you can see I've had this for a while because it still says the Paper Studio and Hobby Lobby has changed the name of their clear, clear sticker paper. It's a different brand now, but it's the same stuff. So Hobby Lobby's clear sticker paper and their printable vinyl is very nice. They both work really well. Their printable vinyl is my favorite. My next favorite is the Silhouette. There is one type of the Cricut that I like, one type that I don't, because Cricut actually makes a thin one and a, and a thick one. But the thin one is really the nicest and the easiest to use. So this is still that same Hobby Lobby paper. It's just that, you know, I had it for a long time. So that's why it's still in that. And then, so these that I use, I've been asked a lot about these discs. So basically, so this is just epoxy and I like to go through and I have just, you know, two little molds that make four of these at a time. And I go in and I just make a whole bunch of like molds and in different colors so that I have them. I like to make mostly white. Um, now, what I will say, if you're doing these and you're gonna do something that's like a face or something like that, instead of white glitter, I would put white mica powder in it or a little bit of white paint because glitter as the background makes faces look a little weird. But for other stuff, it's just fine. Now, I'm not going to do this one for this one. It's a little bit too small. And honestly, in Florida, it has been really cold for several weeks now. I need to make some of these, but I haven't had a day that it's not too cold in my garage to make them. And, you know, epoxy doesn't sit well if it if the temperature is too cold and my garage is not heated. So... So I need to make a bunch of white ones of these. So, but I just wanted to show you because I do use these a lot. And like I said, I just make them. I have a big container, like just full of them. When I have time, I make them and then put them in the container. Now these, this is the pack like it came in. it When I got it, it was a pack like this big. And this came from Amazon. And I'm sorry, I can't tell you the price because I bought it a long time ago. But... It did come from Amazon and I just put in acrylic rounds and that's it. Now, there's different ones, but I forget what they call the type of it, but this that has the brown paper on it, just so you know the material on it, you can actually do, um, I'm having a brain fart. Um, goodness I I am like having a total brain fart but like infusible ink you know you can actually these work to you know iron stuff like that on so this is what I'm going to use today now I haven't pulled glitter out because I don't know what color I'm going to make the back now the thing with these there's a couple things once you take the brown paper off so you you can glitter and then put your image on and it's going to look completely different than if you put your image on and then glitter on the back side. It gives you two completely different looks. So if you're going to do them, kind of play around and see which one you like better. For this one, I'm going to put my image on and then I'm going to glitter the back. But I don't know what color. I, I want to see how it looks and then I'm going to decide what background color I want for the glitter. Now I do have some clear badge reels if, you know, I decide that I don't want glitter on the back, but you also need to, you know, think about the color of your badge reel and all of that when you're putting these together, because of course these are, these are um, transparent. So before I take that off, I have some other stuff. So these little things come from AliExpress. So these are just little, it's like little tiny beads in different colors. So I've got these that I might use. This also comes from AliExpress, but I got this packet out to use because it has like little pink hearts and little white hearts. 
Now this is from the Dollar Tree. So I buy the Dollar Tree scatter all the time. I kid you not, I've had this pack for like four years. I've used it for many, many things. And this is why, like, I love the Dollar Tree Scatter because they make some really cute little things. And, you know, I can just go in here and see, you know, these, like, little thin hearts like this is probably something that I'll use when I'm making this. Now, I have... Now, I myself have stopped, um, I, I haven't been buying things from AliExpress, not because I don't like them, but, um, you know, sometimes I, I don't know, I, I'm at a, I've been at a place where I sort of have questioned, you know, is it the right thing to do? So there's part of me that's like, well, you know, they need jobs too. And there's not, a, you know, those poor people that are doing it. Then there's another part of me that becomes worried if I'm leading into the exploitation of people. And, you know, I go back and forth because I don't really know the answer. I don't know, you know, which one is worse. You know what I mean? If, if, P if I'm helping to exploit people or if it's making people who don't have much not have job like I don't know and so I've just taken a break from buying from AliExpress but you can find most of this stuff on Amazon and um, you can find most of this stuff on Amazon although a lot of it also comes from AliExpress so you know I, I mean I don't know. Sometimes it's really hard to do the right thing when you don't necessarily know what the right thing is. But, um, you know, whatever you want to do. But I do, I, I mean, AliExpress has a lot of really great craft items and that's where those came from. Now, the little pearls came from the Dollar Tree and then the heart and the red beads. Honestly, I'm not sure because I bought, I would buy beads from so many different places but a lot of this stuff is just easy to look up and find um there is a company it's called Kara and company i found them on tiktok a long time ago love them like great beads like i've gotten some of my prettiest best beads from there i'm not sure if this heart came from there or not i pulled out the red the white you know, the heart, just, you know, as I'm doing it and I'll decide, you know, what I need. And then I'm using my resin, Rockers UV resin. Love this stuff. Again, you know, some people have given me some different types to use, but I've not run out of this. Like this just lasts me so long. So, um, but I really like, I love the resin rockers. I have my little heat gun here if I need it. I probably won't, but I have it if I need it. And then I have the Magic Cure lamp from Resin Rockers. You probably won't see it because I keep it sort of off to the side and it's I'd have to do a whole lot of moving around of the camera or of it and it's just sort of a pain. But it's the Resin Rockers Magic Cure lamp it was expensive and <clears throat> you know as far as a light goes uh, I don't remember exactly how much it was but I will tell you it is the best light that I've ever had and I am really glad that I bought it okay all right so and I know that you know sometimes people say stuff because I do a whole lot of work on top of my Cricut light but I don't know it cleans up easy and I generally you know do at least put like a knack in between it but it is what it is so so on these you take off the little brown paper and be careful sometimes I dig in too much and you can make scratches All right, and I'm gonna leave the back side on until I'm done. Now I will need to grab a piece of 
if you'll excuse me, I am going to grab a piece of sandpaper. I don't know if I have any in my room. I might have to go to the garage because I do, like sometimes I like to make things a little bit bigger and then I take sandpaper to the edges. It works really nicely. It's so funny. I turned my alarm off because I know that you guys can sometimes hear my alarm beeping in the background and I'm sorry for that. But, you know, the big alarm battery died. I had that fixed and, but... I can't, the company that put this alarm system in when the house was built has gone out of business and nobody wants to mess with anything that other people do. And it's so funny because the alarm still works, but anyways, I have to turn it on. If I don't remember to turn it on before I do a video, you guys can hear the beeping in the background. That's it getting ready to start again. I open my garage completely forgot to set the alarm off. So, oh my goodness. Anyways. All right. So I have a little piece of sandpaper just to do my edges. And I'm going to take this guy here off. If I can get it to pull up. Now, the one thing with using the clear sticker paper, you know, it picks up a lot of whatever's underneath. So that's why I'm waiting to decide what color I'm going to put as far as glitter goes on the back of it. And, you know, so your, your colors are definitely a little bit more subtle. On like that and I'm gonna just take this and this is the same thing I do like if I'm mod podging stuff instead of cutting it perfectly like I'll put it on and then I like to sandpaper around the edges of it because it actually makes it like perfectly even The sticker paper is a little harder, so it takes a little bit more. See, so now these edges are like just fully even around it. So, I mean, if I wanted, like I could just make the whole thing, you know, make a square around it big enough to cover the whole thing and then, you know, do it to it all. But I mean, I don't need to, I'm putting, if I weren't going to, you know, honestly though, if I weren't going to put epoxy on this, if I wanted to make these and not put like epoxy, just, you know, spray it or something, I would probably do that, do the whole, do it just the size, make it so my sticker is this size around, you know, a little bit past it and then sandpaper my edges down because, you know, then it's super even and I think it would probably have less chance of peeling up if that makes sense. I hope I explained that correctly, but. After I finish this, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm, um, then I'm going to go to my daughter's to go with her to take the boys to their doctor's appointment. My son-in-law's got to go see his mom. His mom is not doing very well. She's very sick and it doesn't look very good. So lots of prayers for him and his family. All right, so here's this guy. Now I'm going to kind of decide, you know, I think that I'm going to 
put a, a light round of UV resin on here. And then I'll go in and put another layer and then put some of my little pieces that I want to use. And I'm just going to use a toothpick. I buy these at the Dollar Tree. comes in a pack of two of these. Super, super handy. So I'm just going to give this a little... And it's generally three minutes, but honestly, um, with this lamp, like 90 seconds is perfect. I will like go back at the end and just put the whole thing back in for like three minutes just, you know, because. But it's, you know, about 90 seconds and it cures like this lamp is so good. And then the other thing, if you notice... When you do put UV on these things, or if you're doing resin, same thing, it actually, the color just really starts to come out a little bit nicer. Like you can really see the color better. It kind of brings it out. And if you feel like you have any bubbles or like maybe your color's not or your stuff's not like super even, you can just use your heat gun on it real quick. All right, and I'm going to be putting, of course, another layer on this. But I still want it to be, you know, nicer to the edges. All right, so I'm going to put this under now for 90 seconds. All right. So that's good. Now I'm going to put another layer on it and then I'm going to add some little things. So I just pulled out a couple little pink hearts, little white hearts. And of course, you know, I mean, I can leave it like this, but you guys know me. I like to, I like to embellish the heck out of stuff. So what I'll probably do is this layer Put those things on and then maybe one more final layer on the top and then decide about the back. Now, I'm just going to kind of decide where I want things. I don't think I like that on there. Now I got these little balls and I got different sizes.
like to just sort of look at it down from the ankle. And I actually think I won't need to put more, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit more right now. So I don't think I'll need to do like another layer. But can you see how pretty and shiny that heart is with the UV resin on it? Even though I'm not using it. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but let's see if you can. Look how pretty that heart looks having that epoxy on it. I might use it on the um, badrial piece. I mean, I said epoxy, but you know, I meant UV resin. All right, so here's this little guy here. I'm going to take this back piece off. And then we'll decide on to glitter or not to glitter. So I don't get on TikTok, but I've thought about like doing it and then doing some like live, you know, as we're making things. Because I just think it would be fun, you know. All right, so... Here is our little piggy, if you can see. The light makes it hard to see him. So, he definitely needs a background color. Here, let me put him up on this white so you can see. Make sure you can see. So, so he's so cute, but he definitely needs a background color. I'm thinking this pink. I hope I don't ruin him with this pink, but I'm thinking that I really want this pink. I feel like the pink will bring his little color out, you know? That's what I'm thinking. So we're going to try the pink. Now, these are just little things from where I get contacts. Uh, they're disposable contacts and after I use my contacts I just have a bag I throw these in in the bathroom and I save them because you know I feel bad to just throw them out. And then also I want you to see now that I've taken that off I have a little like piece down here I didn't go all the way to the bottom so I will go back and just add a little bit of UV resin down there. So, pink on pink, I'm hoping, and the reason why I'm worried is because of the shadow of him. Like, is that pink going to, hold on, let me just put a little bit down. Like, I mean, I think it's, I think think it's going to be okay. We're about to find out. I'm doing it. The one thing is these are a little bit small. they work and it makes me feel better that I'm not wasting them. But so what I was saying is, I mean, I don't know, maybe no one would even get on, but I've thought about like getting on TikTok and doing lives just so that like 
we could talk while we were doing it. Like while I was videoing it, we could actually. I, I think it's going to be okay. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's dumb. But I always wish that like I could see you guys and like actually talk to you. I guess YouTube does lives also, right? I don't know. I feel like TikTok is maybe easier to do lives. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really, I mean, I get on and watch. I used to not even get on and watch, but I do get on and watch stuff now, but I don't, um, you know, like do anything on it. I don't have like a channel. Oh yeah, I think I'll be fine. I see people on TikTok doing cups and stuff a lot. I haven't really done a lot of cups lately. Well, of course you guys know because you see that I haven't. Um, but honestly, it's really just because a couple of things. A, I've made them for basically everybody that, you know, I can make them for. Because, you know, I don't sell them. But then also, it just, it takes so long. And depending on my schedule, like, I don't always have time, like, to go back the next day and, or, you know, even later in the day and, you know, finish this, finish that. And then, like, if I start one and then, like, too much time has gone by, then I'm, like, bored of that one. You know what I mean? Like... I gotta have, be able to like finish it all in one kind of sitting, you know? I love doing batch reels though. This is my absolute favorite. this under. All right. So, I don't know if you can see it. I you know how the light is. Sometimes it's really hard for me to tell what you can see in the camera. Um, so, I was really worried about the pink on pink. But I think it's okay. So, I've got my bath wheel. So, this is, these are from Dollar Tree. And then I think this gray will be good because it'll actually help give a little bit more definition to the little piggy. I, with it being dark and light on, I hope that you can actually see it, but... You can see I'm pretty good and it looks good. Okay. So I'm going to
I usually do this in my garage, so I got to find a little clamp. So I might, let me see, maybe I'll use some tape. All right, I have a clamp. So the thing is, when you do this, you need to make sure that you have this clamped because otherwise you will lose your badge reel. So for that reason, some people like to put their, um, their pieces on first and then do their badge reel. But for me, I do not because if I somehow it came undone and I lost my badge reel, I don't want to lose my My piece that I made also. Now some people pull pry apart this metal piece. To me that is much more work than I need to do. I push the knot through here, cut it, and now I'm going to take my beads. I decided I'm going to go with the Pearl. And then the wait, I want to make sure I'm putting it on the right way. Hearts. And then the other pearl. Now I'm going to take my string, I'm going to put it back up through there, just like that. I'm going to pull it out, and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to knot it really, really good. Now you can put as much on here as you want, you know, but just remember You know, it's will make your it will make your um, badge reel really long if you put too much. So, and I do a nice double knot, and then I bring it through, and I pull it really tight before I let go and make sure it's not going to slide up through. All right, so now I have my badge reel. Now I'm going to go ahead. I always make sure that it snaps. This one was already snapped. And then I'm going to go ahead, kind of flatten this out a little bit. But now I'm going to fill my little buttons. So it doesn't take, it doesn't take much and if you overfill it, it looks sort of weird. And I'm just going to fill in. The center of my button. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. And then I made that one a lot thicker than this one. So I'm going to go back and just sort of add a little bit in here and even them up. And then when I first set this under the light, 
because of the bend in it, I'm going to hold it out so that nothing drips and like goes all over the place. All right. And then I don't know. Did I tell you guys these come from the Dollar Tree? So you can get them in lots of different colors. There's three of them. I really like them. I've never had any issue with the Dollar Tree um, badge holders. I've not had any break on me. All right, so here's this. So now we'll put this guy on. And when I, I like to go, I don't, I like it to be, you know, sort of down to where like that first bead, I want sort of like just barely poking out. And now this one, again, when I first put this on, I'm going to hold it under for a few minutes and make sure that it stays in place where I want it. I'm going to just check it, make sure I'm good with it. I'm going to put it under and I'm going to hold it and just make sure it doesn't slide. All right. And I hope that you guys are able to see it. It turned out so cute. I don't know what the, I think the light makes it so that the piggy blends in. Sorry, I want to try and see if you can see it. In person, the piggy's not blending in. Like, you can see the piggy really good. So tomorrow, before I put this up, during the daytime, well, this morning, when it gets daylight, I will film it in the sun so that you can actually see the picture. Because I think that with the light and stuff it's probably hard for you to see the pig itself but in the sunlight i'll do it so that you can see it but he turned out super 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 cute so this will be my valentine's badge or one of them i'll actually probably make myself a couple that i'll switch back and forth with so all right. I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day and I hope you liked it. I'll see you later, friends. Bye.